The little worm has acquired a bad reputation lately. E. Bunyon, Swiss Physician Charles Wardell Stiles' father and grandfather expected him to become a minister. They both had devoted their careers to preaching from Methodist pulpits, and it seemed natural to them that he would do the same. Charles had his own ideas. He was fascinated by animals, not religion. Charles was born on May 15, 1867, in Spring Valley, New York, a small town north of New York City. He spent his boyhood exploring the nearby woods and fields, where he gathered specimens for his bedroom nature museum. Charles had collections of bugs, butterflies, and other creatures, both dead and alive. Curious about what was inside an animal's body, he dissected frogs and earthworms. One day he found a dead cat in a vacant lot and decided to add its skeleton to his museum. First, he removed the cat's fur, flesh, and organs. In order to detach the muscles from the bones, Charles realized he'd have to boil down the rest. Since no one was home to object to his plan, he filled one of his mother's large pots with water, put it on the stove, and dumped in the cat's remains. With the water on a slow boil, Charles went outside to play with a friend. He forgot about the pot on the stove until he smelled a stench and saw smoke coming from the kitchen. Charles didn't get the new addition to his museum as he hoped. The water had boiled off, and the cat skeleton was burned into a foul mess. Detours Growing up in a minister's household, Charles had to follow certain rules. Sunday was reserved for religious activities. He was permitted to devote the hours after church services to singing hymns, walking and reflecting in the graveyard, or reading the Bible. Forced to choose, Charles opted for reading. To make the task less boring, he turned it into a puzzle. Using the French he'd learned in school, he translated a French Bible into English as he read. Charles liked the challenge so much that he spent his Sunday afternoons translating German, Latin, Italian, and Greek Bibles. Although he didn't realize it at the time, this knowledge of languages would later prove useful.